Hi everyone, this is Monsi and I'm here again doing another Smashbook process video. Um, here I'm just starting off with this sort of teal uh, piece of paper as my background. <clears throat> I cut it down to, I believe it was 6 by 10 And here I'm just taking out all of my scraps, well not all of them, the ones that I think I can use, uh, from my stash. And I do end up using quite a bit of them. Um, I think almost all of them I use, but I love doing it because that way I can get rid of a lot of my scraps. So um, basically what I'm doing is I'm just going to tack these down, um, pretty much use them like my background. I will leave a small border so you can see the background piece of paper, but I don't have really any sort of method that I'm using here. I'm just kind of placing them all randomly. Um, I'm not measuring. I'm just, like I said, it's quite kind of random. Just figure where they look nice and then I put them down. And as you can tell, I'm not really using very much adhesive. I'm just kind of doing the minimal amount. Uh, just so that I can put, if I need to, um, some embellishments behind those pieces of paper. And this piece of paper, I actually liked how both sides looked, so I cut it in half. And I really like these, um, this piece of paper with the, they're kind of like little cards, but they have numbers on them. So I really like how those look, so I end up cutting this yellow piece of paper down just a little bit so you can see a little bit of the numbers, not too much though. And then I did take out um, this vellum piece of paper here. <laughs> I've been trying to use it and um, I finally get to use it on this layout. So, And that heart piece of paper that you just saw, I really try to incorporate it in this layout and it does not end up working. So hopefully I will be able to use it later on, but you will see that I try. I really do try to use it in this layout. So then on the, with this vellum piece of paper, I'm just going to put it down. Um, oh, and then I cut out this amber sign, what amber sand sign, which I don't think ended up on this layout. I just really liked how it had the gray and the kind of like the gold color. So the, the with the vellum, I just take it down with my tiny attacher. And then um, I end up using this Simon Says Stamp um, it says favorite flowers. It's the favorite flowers one. And it came in the, um, this month's card kit. And I just, uh, stamp out a lot of these little flowers. Uh, they come in different shapes and different sizes. And then I just cut them out and use them as embellishments. So here I'm using this picture, uh, of my dad's garden. Uh, he loves to garden. We have very, very pretty flowers in the backyard right now so I just snapped a picture of that and I decided that I wanted to I wanted to remember this so <laughs> and this piece of paper that I'm mounting it on is another scrap um, I don't remember where it was from but it's kind of like a, a lime green color it's very very pretty but it's kind of distressed it has a little bit of brown on it And I decided that I really want to use a little bit of this paper just because I love the colors in it. Um, but I don't want it to cover the entire vellum piece of paper, the entire background. So I just snip off a few different um, rows of the chevron uh, arrows. So here, see, I really want to use that paper. Because <laughs> um, it has all the appropriate colors that I've been using, but it doesn't, it doesn't work, so... And I just cut off a little bit of this, a little bit of that paper. Um, I 
And now I'm just looking through my, I'm going to start looking through my die cuts. My massive amounts of die cuts, I swear I have a ton. Oh, but first I'm going to take out, um, I think it's three arrows and I take out like three different little hearts. Uh, wood veneers from the American Crafts. And I think about using these enamel dots, but I don't think I end up using any of them. So here I'm just going through my die cuts. And I have a ton. Like When I say a ton, I have a ton. And I use this little envelope. Um, it's not an envelope, it's a folder. Uh, from Basic Gray. And then I also use these little Polaroids. I take out two of them and I just snip off the the edges. And I think that was pretty much it that I used out of these. Oh no, and then I used this, um, I think that came from the Snap collection. It's a little uh, speech bubble and it says right here right now. Oh, I guess I do use a couple of things from here. Oh, and I also use these little ticket stubs. I take out two of them, but I only use one and the one that says, I think it says Be Loved. I think those are from Fancy Pants. They came in um, one of the Simon Says Stamp card kits. And then I really want to use, um, I almost show you the name, but it's, the, it's in the wrong packaging. And I just want to use that Love This stamp from Simon Says Stamp. I can't remember the name of that collection of stamps, but again, it's in one of the, it was in one of the card kits. And here I'm just going to stamp it onto a random uh, white cardstock. Just so that I can cut it out when I'm done. And I do like cutting the Love This out um, as a little circle. I just think it makes it it's really cute. I don't know why. I just like it when it's cut into a circle. And that's what I end up doing here. <clears throat> and then I cut out the right here, right now. Uh, I do not leave it as a speech bubble, though. I do cut off that little tail that it has there. <laughs> and then I decided um, to mount the two little Polaroids on this uh, lime green piece of paper. Mm -hmm. I, I think that came in um, a pack of seven gypsies. I really, really love their paper lime. And then I just add this little ticket stub um, on top of the little, the little Polaroids, and I um, adhere it with some blue dots. I think I use a few because it's kind of, um, they're kind of bent, so I wanted it to be really tacked down. And again, I try to use the second one, and I don't end up using it. So here, I'm just gonna start adhering my the layers behind my photo. And I really want to use this card as um, a little insert to the little folder, but it doesn't end up happening. I really don't like this. So I just put it right behind my phone. Use it as a mirror. <coughs> and then I end up mounting the the love this on foam adhesive just so that it pops out a little bit and 
And I do put that down right away. <laughs> and then right here, I think I'm going to start, I'm going to use this Heidi Swap um, Gold Shimmer. And I'm just going to, sorry about that, it's not focusing right now. Um, I'm just going to, since the right, the little right here right now um, is not filled in, I'm just going to fill it in with a little bit of the gold shimmer. Again, sorry for it being not focused. And then I also add some um, gold shimmer to my background, just splattering it a little bit though, not too much. I am trying a new way of recording, so hopefully this works out a little bit better than before. And then I do add some of that gold shimmer onto the wood veneer pieces that I have right here. And I really, really love how that turns out. I just love using the gold shimmer on the wood veneers. So here I'm just going to start putting those down. And then I start my clusters of the flowers and the little leaves. And I do I think I do about four four different little clusters of the flowers just because I have so much. And I don't need any more die cuts to be piling on me. And I do pop some up on um, foam adhesive. And here I'm just gluing them down. And this layout, I think, took me a little bit longer than usual. Just because I did have to stamp those out and cut those out. And I think I was also watching Supernatural, so <laughs> it takes me a little while. And I'm basically just gluing everything down here. That's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> uh, and I have a ton of layers on this p on on this layout, as you can tell, right? So, um, and then I just take out, I think, uh, some of my stickers here, because I wanted to put, it, like, a title on it, and I take out these basic gray label stickers, and I think I use one of them. I think I use a gray one here. That one right there. But I end up, um, I thought I was going to use, um, I take out another these basic gray stickers here, these alpha stickers, but um, I don't end up using them. And then I try to show you this flare, I don't know if you could really see it. Um, it's really, really pretty. Um, I think it's from American Crafts. 
Um, hopefully you'll be able to see it in the still photos, but it's really, really pretty. And then I take out this um, little booklet. I think it's from American Crafts. I think it's Remarks or something like that. Um, little uh, sticker book. And I end up using this Garden Goodness as my title. So I don't end up using um, the outfits from Basic Gray. And then I take out this little um, wood chip sticker. And then I also use a little bit, um, some of these stickers here. I think I got these actually at the dollar store, so. And they are, um, dimensional, which is, I thought was awesome. And I think that was all I did. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.